I got lucky before. Getting more out, it's not going to be easy. And I know we have limited supplies. That we do. We have come this far. We can hold out a little longer. One more night. Maybe more. Do you truly believe that you can release more, Sen? I do. Honk here is an example of that. we are not giving up. Not yet. There are more there. I think I can get them free. Just need the right chance. You are very sure of yourself, aren't you? Call me optimistic. Me and Park made it out. Hong, too. There are more. They can make it out as well. As long as it's not at the cost of us. We all knew what we were getting into when we came out here, Oren. I would expect more from one with horns as long as yours. Or am I mistaken? I can hold my own perfectly fine, and I will continue to push me, and you will find out. Enough. Enough. We have enough food. We have enough supplies. One more night. That's what I'm asking for. Are we in? We are in. We'll hold this camp for now. Good. Thank you. I'll be back before the morning. Kia ora, guys, gals, and legionnaires. Right on here. Welcome back to Let's Roleplay Kenshi. We are with our group of roamers just outside of Rebirth with our new member Hong. An archer who is hanging about with us. Uh, Mark is an ex-slave. Looks a fair bit like a slave right now. And it seems like, yeah... Removing that doesn't really help. I don't believe we have any other form of armor with us other than what San has with him. And I think we're probably going to want to keep that on him in the event that things go horribly wrong. Now, we do have food in some of our other packs right now, which is still keeping us nice and fed. Oren could still do with a little bit of a rest at this point. So we might as well go ahead and place down a camp bed for now so that there's at least a chance that someone will be able to rest up while we're here now Oren, you most certainly have those building materials so go ahead and get started on that and we can let Oren rest up a little bit further the others are going to have to just uh, take their time dog meat is resting as well now apparently there is a chance for us to actually put dog meat in beds as well let's see if that is actually going to be the case or not um we'll see if we can get this thing placed maybe a little bit better um, there we go. I was actually forgetting how to actually rotate things there. Oren, sorry, I know you've just gone to sleep. You have all of those, so if you could be so kind, we'll get you started, and then we'll look at getting the others sneaking. Um, you can be sneaking while you're sleeping, and as for Park, let's go ahead and pick up dog meat and see if we're going to be able to place dog meat in that bed. And it looks like we can, kind of. Yeah, so Dogmeat is sleeping, is recovering in the bed, but in a strange kind of way. We can see that Park also does need to do a little bit of a recovery. Oh, Dogmeat is lying down now. That's super freaking cute. Um, Park, you could actually do with a little bit of a recovery here. But I think keeping some people on guard is going to be worthwhile. Ruka, we can get you sneaking at the same time. I'm pretty sure we can do some more repairing to her leg, so let's just see if that's going to be possible as well. Who is holding on to that currently? It does look like it is Sand. However, Sand doesn't seem to be able to do anything else to Ruka there. Yeah, unfortunately. Well, Hong, let's get you also sneaking so that everyone here is doing just that and we're going to run away with sand now at the very end of the last there was an encounter happening over here between some bone dogs yes and some members of the holy nation now i think the bone dogs have lost and the holy nation have decided to roam on elsewhere we should be relatively safe in this little region that we're in currently However, that can change pretty quickly. What we might want to do with sand while the sun is still up is just do a little bit of looting here so that we can actually get us semi-supplied with something. Now, I was hoping we were going to see some bodies here. It looks like it is just going to be bone dogs. Um, we could collect hides here to try and sell. 
that's something we might potentially be able to do. But for now, we're just going to want to try and grab the meat. The teeth don't actually take up too much space, so we could look at maybe taking those as well. But what we're going to do with this lot is we're going to run them back towards the camp. And that campfire is going to be used to uh, cook up all this meat. Although, I guess again, saying that, we'll be doing it in batches. So, looks like... Sand is actually going to go ditch resources. I guess he's going to try and ditch it in the fireplace. This is probably more meat than we can actually ever realistically cook. But still, like I was saying, we'll just take what we can and then get out of here. Unfortunately, Sand does actually have a bounty now. So that's something that we're going to have to deal with. There is a chance that he could have just walked in through the gates of Rebirth. I would like to think that the guards would recognize him or at least have some recollection of this very large man escaping at some point but then again the guards that did actually well not let him escape but were there when he escaped probably uh aren't there anymore or did get some kind of punishment for it so all the stuff that we've got i'm going to want to trade that to park so let's go ahead do that trade real quick and because he's got that big backpack he can store all these things together so we'll go ahead and just start trading him all of the meat and all these other little bits and pieces just so that um, he might actually be able to cook some of this stuff up while we are gone. I do believe, though, he won't be able to take it back out of his inventory, I think. So let's see how he does there. It looks like he's probably started, but it will stop eventually. I would just hope that they would eat the food and he's going to replace it out over time. We'll find out. We will try and check back in with them in the same way that we are going to be checking back in with our dreamers back at home, they all still seem to be doing okay, which means that they're not dying of hunger. <laughs> but like I was saying, we do want to check on them from time to time because there is a good chance that we are going to be running out of food because it happens. It does. It does. Now, Sand, you should be good. Now, I guess I could actually... Hmm, I could have stolen some sandals from Park... That would actually make you run a little bit faster. But I think we're going to be okay for the most part. I'm going to try, once we get a little bit closer, to just go at two times speed. Because I think going any faster at this stage probably isn't the smartest idea for us. But we'll get close, and then we'll start sneaking. Rebirth. Yes, rebirth. Now, my plan today is to try and go around the side. Where are you going? Just off, going off places. Okay, well, let's get all up and in those rocks as we sneak our way past here. To the best of our ability, only one guard on the gate right now, which is, you know, good. Um, oh, hello, who are you? <gasps> Squint. Okay, where are you going? This is goal worker. Where are you going currently? Outside? Well, you've stopped running, so you got me excited that it was one of our friends running out to try and meet us, but alas, this is not the case. We have a look on our map. I don't know if we still have anyone here. We've got one person who is still kind of trying to follow us to a degree. Let's make our way down. I'm kind of hoping to get them before they start heading back inside. Shoot, we have just missed them which is really unfortunate. So we are going to have to sneak inside. We can see that they're all going through at the moment. Sand is making his way down, doing his good old fantastic looking Naruto run as he slowly moves in towards the place. Yeah, buddy. How are we going to do this thing? Now, up in this tower is where a whole heap of the guards are going to be staying. There are going to be prisoners up here. So we need to try and find our way through those gates again. Um, doing so while it's still not dark is probably going to be bad for us. Now, that's what I'm actually really happy to see. Uh, we have a whole heap of people out on these poles. That's going to be a lot easier for us to get, well, unlock them. I'm hoping they go in the cages as well. Yeah, this is really good news for us. Really, really good news. Because uh, we can definitely work with that. Now, we are going to have to wait for all the guards to go to sleep. And, damn it, Sand is hungry. And he's actually 
We can see finally he's actually starting to get into a little bit of darkness. We could pop inside here and see if we could steal something really quick. Actually, he shouldn't be hungry. We have food in our inventory. Uh, I'm just going to swap it out and then, oh, there we go. Sometimes you just need to swap things around like that. Okay, so he's going to be on his way back up. All right, sand. Yeah, we're going to give it a little while. We're going to come back to him in a moment or two once uh, these guards have settled down a little bit. So let's just wait over here. We're going to go check in on Park, see how things are going with him and the others. Obviously, we're by a campfire, so that's not going to help us out too much. But yeah, we're just going to go through occasionally like that, check on them, make sure they're okay, and we will jump back home. Hobbs is still researching up a storm. The guy's an absolute madman, and the others are heading out at this stage. Now, we are out of food. That's not super, so let's do something about that. We should have a decent supply of copper, and that we do. Now, Hobbs, I need you to run out there. Actually, well, it would be a little bit more helpful if we got one of the others. Spot, you're close. You don't have a massive amount of inventory space. Hanbu, you don't have a you do have a backpack, but you're not here, are you? No, you are. Fantastic, Hanbu. We're going to borrow you for but a moment to run along to the stall here and get us some stuff and things. Speak to the bar manager. Get us some lovely, lovely food as you do. Whole heap, thank you. And we should be able to sell off our copper to you at the same time. So we'll go ahead and take all of that. And uh, you are completely out of uh, cats. I guess we were actually able to trade that. I think we were, yeah. Okay, we could take a whole heap of dried fish as well. We might as well, and we'll go ahead and trade you those. There we go, we're coming out on top. Now, are you going to drop those back, good sir? No, you're going to operate the machinery. So let's get you to come back in here first and drop some of that stuff off for us. Seeing as it is proper dark now, we are going to be able to get Sand in and get him working on his mission. But now that they have food there, they're all going to be happy about that. Check on Park again. I think during this time he's probably cooked all that food. Close to, close to. More than enough food to feed them. Now Sand will let things load up properly for you. We're looking at quite a few on the gates here, but... Your stealth is good. 67. Not bloody bad. So we'll go with that as you make your way through here. And this is not giving us it. What? Well, yeah. Yeah, that's good. We will have to drop it if we are going to try and fight, but ideally we will not be fighting. We're going to slip through here completely unnoticed, knocking one of the guards as we do. We are just a shadow moving through the night. Shadow moving through the night. And we are, indeed, a shadow moving through the night, thankfully. We're trying to stick to these shadows as much as we can. And uh, I'm not really super enthused about the amount of guards that are out here. Really would like our assassination skill to be higher, because that would make this a lot easier. There is a good chance that some of these patrols will start to move away. So we'll just kind of hold here for a bit. We'll have a look and see what's going on out here. We have two on this side. Doesn't look like we have any in these cages here. Uh, looking up towards the homes, there are quite a few of them up here. But um, yeah, I'm liking the numbers that we're seeing down here. I just would hope that they aren't going to immediately try and escape. Because that's where it can get really dangerous for us. If they start trying to run away, right away, they're not going to be very good at sneaking. It's going to be very, very bad for us. So we've got that guard walking past. Doesn't look like we have another one for a little while. I'm imagining most of them are actually they're kind of turning it in for the night. So let's start to go to work. We don't know who we're going to be able to get out of here. And ideally, we're going to have a look really quick. Greasepot, who is a hiver. Okay. We're just having a look to see if we can recognize any faces here. See if we can recognize ribs among the many that are here. Dirtbug. We've got two hivers here. Swick and Spot. Spot? I We had someone named Spot here when we were here last time, I believe. I think we'll go ahead and start doing some work here. We're going to attempt to pick this lock, and then after picking the lock, we'll do the shackles. We'll see which is going to be the best way to do it. Um, I think unlocking them like this, it'll kind of tell us, still need to break the chains. Okay, so that makes me think that this person is actually wanting to get out of here. We will only do this to people that actually want to get out. Uh, so yes, unlock shackles, come on. Okay, we'll move away, see if we can kind of reset that a little bit. Unlock shackles. 
There we go. We can see that we're committing a crime, so we, we always want to try and let that disappear if possible. Okay, you did it. Okay. And are they just going straight for it? No. Don't go straight for it, you fool. You bloody fool. Okay, so there is a good chance that they aren't going to immediately raise the alarm. Because uh, it's going to take them a while to see that person running away at night. But uh, uh, I'm not super stoked that they are running and trying to go across the top. Okay, so this one doesn't seem to be that keen. So let's not worry about them. I wouldn't mind getting some hivers, but uh, yeah. We're not going to be able to get great now. My shackles, okay. We'll, we'll unlock these shackles. Yep, it's fine. You can stay here. We don't care. Okay, go along to the next. Okay, we have to get out of here. Looks like you're kind of semi-sticking with us. That's good. I can't run with these shackles on. Well, we'll get them off, won't we? They're going to be a little bit more difficult. But we will try and work with them. Go through bit by bit. Yes, okay, you're sneaking. That's good. You got back on the pole, so we need to try and get you off. I think we might just have to unlock one more time. Sometimes they can just accidentally jump straight back onto them. What are you doing? Okay, so this one really doesn't want us to be setting them free. I wish they'd tell us that before we took the other stuff off. Okay. Yeah, you stay right there. That's fine. We're at one o'clock. We are moving through the night. I'm free. Okay, we'll see how free you are. Good. Okay, you are joining us for now. Just please don't get seen in the light. It's a good chance for them to actually kind of stealth up. Now break the chains. Okay, that's positive. Okay, come on, Sand. Keep this up. He's doing a good job so far. And the thing is, by us having greater numbers, there's a better chance for them to actually be able to get out. Uh, it's going to be harder for them to stop these larger groups from running away. Now, I'm hoping we're going to be able to get a hiver here. That'd be nice. We should leave quickly. Up to you. If you want to run, you might give us a head start. I haven't heard news from the other person that's trying to run away yet, so that's something, I suppose. Okay, another hive that does not seem to be sure about joining us. Come on, we want at least one. Come on, buddy, don't give up. We might be able to get this one here. Swick! I'd like for you to join us, Swick. Don't give up yet, we won't give up. Okay, no, nothing yet. We'll get there. Just a little bit more sand. There we go, pick success. Unlock shackles. I'm not seeing anything positive there, and it does seem the dreamers are being attacked. Spot is under attack. Okay. All right, we're going to have to jump back to them real quick, like. Let's see what's going on with Spot. Luckily, Spot is really close to town here, so we'll try and figure out exactly who or what is attacking her. Oh, it's these dust bandits here. Okay, so if we just run back towards the town, and I say dust bandits, they're not. They're just, it's just the, it's just the hungry bandits. Run back towards the town if you can, Spot. We're going to have to go back as quickly as we can here. Okay. Alright. We'll just give them a, a second or two to move away. Hope that they kind of give up. And let's go back to sand and see how we're doing. It does look like we actually managed to free one, or unfortunately our friend just disappeared. Yeah, jumping back and forth can have some issues. Oh, he's actually up there. So, no, that isn't Swick, is it? No, that's Grease Pot. So we haven't been able to get any yet. Maybe we'll be able to get another Greenlander here, or Spot. Try and unlock. Come on, Spot, join us. Damn it, Spot. Okay, Spot is not going to join us. Let's go along to the next lot. It's two o'clock. It's starting to get a little late, or rather early in the morning. We've got three with us so far. We do not want to be greedy. So we're going to try and stick with what we've got here. Looks like it's going to be a full party of Sheik that we're taking out of here, or at least trying to take out. Our hunger's going down damn fast. Not really a fan of that. Once Sand has got these two, we're going to go back to park, check on our team, make sure that they're doing okay. Our stealth thing is going alright. Pick the lock on the pole. Try these two. Okay, looks like you are not keen at all. Now what are you supposed to do? You're supposed to run away with us. That's the plan. Do the shackles next. Okay, good. We've got another one here. Nearly done. And turret training was completed. How nice. Freedom. Let's hope so. You off there? Okay, you are just running straight for something. 
Yikes. Yikes. Yeah, so these three here, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to convince them. We've got three so far, which is good. I don't really want to go into any of these places because we're just going to run into the guards immediately. So next best thing for us to do at this stage, we came in through the front door, and that's probably going to be the best way for us to leave. Uh, we'll go as far as we can up to that point there, and then we're going to quickly go back to park, go back to regular speed, and just check that he's going to turn that meat in like so. And just looking at our dreamers, there are no bad conditions happening there, so we're good to continue. All right, Sand, we'll just let things reload for him. And we're going to definitely stay with him up to this point now because we want all these others to catch up with him. And it looks like we've got three. I thought we had four, but I could have been wrong there. Yeah, three. I'd like more because obviously the more you have, the better of a chance you have to get away. But um, yeah, this is all we got for now. Now, if we were to stay in the area, there's a chance that we'd be able to get more out the day afterwards. So what we're, what we're trying to do here is get as close as we can before we start running, because as soon as we start running, the guards are going to uh, all fall upon us. Okay. All right, we could sneak as far as possible, but I think now is the time to start running, and it's going to be sprinting. Okay, and we're going to be running out to this position here. Oh, okay, yeah, so that's the way the path, the path thing's a little strange here. Because obviously we're kind of running around. Ah, yeah, hmm. It might actually be better if we run up that way and go across the front. They did have a reduced, yeah, the, it's not really, I wouldn't say reduced. We'd have to make it through two lots of guards. Here we only have to make it through one, but that's where we start running into trouble where we could be seen on the other side. And I'm afraid as soon as this lock gets seen, they're not going to try and run that way. They're going to want to run this way. So let's take them with us. We seem to be okay right now. I don't think we're going to get seen. So running is okay. At least it seems to be. If we just stand here, wait with sand. It's getting on towards the morning now, which I'm not super happy about. Okay, start moving sand. They're a little bit spread apart. We'll let them kind of catch back up again. We'll just stay zoomed out so that we can get a little bit further along this bridge before they inevitably see us. Okay, this is it. This is going to be the run. Okay, for better or for worse, good luck to the three of you. I wish you all the best. Now Sand hopefully will get their attention. He's trying to, but it's not really working out. Okay, the rest of them just please keep running. Okay, that's two through. But the question, like I was saying, is going to be whether or not they can actually make it while running like that. We're just getting told to move along. So they didn't actually recognize Sand there. Just keep on pushing further and further. Sand has done all he can for them at this point. If he tries to stay and fight, they will also try to stay and fight. Um, we've got one who actually stands a pretty good chance here. Oblim. Because it seems like who the one who's leading here, Yark, is going to be taking the majority of these hits. But if Yark can tank them for long enough and go down, there's a chance that they might just leave Yark for dead. And if they do that, then that'll work out for them. But we just need to get this distance now so that they are encouraged to continue to run. Don't be attacking me, bulls. And Sand is just going to keep on going. Okay, so Oblum actually made it and has decided to join us. We can see that Oblum has been discovered. Um, where is Oblum now in, in relation to the rest? Oh, hang on. No, the others are actually running back for them. Okay, so Oblum... Oblum, if you can just start stealthing now at this point. Fan friggin' tastic. That is good. Now I don't know if our other friend is going to join us or not. I still can't see if we're actually stealthing. Okay, we are. Brilliant. Okay, alright. Excellent work. 
That is a very large helicopter going overhead. I'm sure we can all hear that. Uh, so, yeah, we want Oblin to go and join with our group here. Ideally. That would be fantastic. And I think you are far enough away now that we can get you sprinting and the others aren't going to be following you. I do feel sorry for our other friend who I think has already been taken back. Yeah, that's unfortunate. And whoever this one was here, I think they're just going to keep on running. Uh, Kumo. So Kumo is retreating currently and yeah, they might just keep on retreating. So we, we've got we've got two people out of this so far. I really expected us to get a lot more. Uh, but some just don't seem ready. Yeah. So I think the next stage for us is obviously getting sand back towards where the others are. Getting Oblum there as well. And then, well, we're going to start trying to make our way back. Now, many of you have recommended trying to look into the Holy Mines because a lot of the Holy Mines are very much like Rebirth, but just on a smaller level. Now, I'm sure that both Park and Sand know they're out here somewhere, but the question is where? We have done a little bit of exploration around here, but we don't have a huge amount of food and the pace to do a lot of exploration Poor Oblum, it's going to take a while to reach us, I think. Um, it's that hunger, more than anything, that's going to take her a while to get towards us. Athletics of 9. But yeah, look at this. Melee attack of 26, melee defense of 14. Even though they're slaves, they start off pretty good. Compared to some of the others that were picked up along the way, they start off as actually pretty damn decent fighters. Very, very nice. It's why Park is the way he is, I think. So if we can free more, I think that would actually be pretty good for us in the long run. Oren, you are completely healed. Dogmeat, you're also looking good as well. I don't think I can pick you up out of that bed, so we're just going to have to go pick up and drop. Just not in the fire, please, Park. And put down. Put the dog down, but not like that. There we go. And let's dismantle these. Like so. And we'll get Oren to pick them up. Brilliant. Looking at this again, let's see if we can get a little bit more cooked before we run on out of here. So park, I'm going to click on that, take that away, you're going to continue cooking. And by this time, Oblum is nearly here. Um, so, what are we going to do about Oblum and Hong? They look like slaves right now, which isn't great for us. It means that we're going to be, to be very, very alert while we're running around. Eight dried meats. Okay, so Oblum is going to start to get better. Um, that athletics is going to start kicking in, which is good for us. So we're going to try and plan out our direction from here. Let's grab all of us. We are going to stop sneaking. Oblum, it would be good if we could get you some kind of weapon. We'll have a look and see if there's anything that we can kind of spare. I think we're all, yeah, got everything that we kind of need to use right now. So I don't think we'll be swapping anything out just yet. But we're going to go ahead and put Oblum on block. Um, I'm probably not going to worry about the others right now. So these two will attract attention. And Ruka will attract attention as well. Uh, because of her robot leg. They will actually be able to see that from a distance. Which um, is dangerous for us. But, you know... We're, we can't have her be carried everywhere. Uh, so let's go ahead and dismantle this campfire. We have all of our meat cooked. We're ready to start moving. And hopefully, maybe with these two here, we might be able to find some information as to where we can find one of these holy mines. Now, we've traveled in this region here. We haven't seen anything. So the best thing that I can think of doing is heading out into this region here, just to the side of Rebirth, seeing what we can find. But again, we don't have a huge amount of food, so we need to be cautious with our, our movements. Uh, and speaking of being cautious with movements, we can already see that there is some kind of attack going on out here. Uh, we have bone dogs and we have hungry bandits. Now, those hungry bandits, as soon as they go down, they're going to have something for us. And they are going to go down here. They're going to have cloves for both Hong and Oblum. Uh, let's select everyone and make sure that we're actually running the same speed. We want to be sticking together as a team. So let's just... Um, go towards here. We'll just start sneaking. Actually, you know what? The Hungry Bandits won that fight. I'm very, very surprised that they did. Very surprised. They're kind of just hanging in there. 
So we could, as soon as that, uh, as soon as that bone dog goes down, we could attack. Because we know that they are going to be a danger to us, so we're just going to go ahead and go straight for this thing. Attack all. Moving on in. Now Hong, for some reason, is the only one that's doing that currently, and I'm not sure why. Attack all. Um, so, it just seems to be Hong that's moving. Is everyone on block? No. Okay. Interesting. So we're going to go attack all. Hong, you can go off on the side to try and attack them. Um, yeah, so they don't seem to want to run over, but attack target will work. Okay. That's just how we have to do it then, it seems. Attack target from there if you can. Hopefully not striking any of us down. Hong, move off to the side again. And we'll let them go to work. Get a little bit of experience in fighting. Oh, we've got some others that have actually come in from the behind us. I wasn't expecting that. Oblum, we can probably get you helping out some, some martial arts. So we'll get you... Oh, wow. Okay, no, we did not see this group here. So there is another group of hungry bandits that have just appeared out of nowhere. So we need to really win this fight now. Okay, Hong, run back up onto this hill if you can. So thankfully, we're actually semi-decent fighters here, and we should stand a chance to beat this group, but we have this other group that's coming in now, which is going to cause some issues for us. Oblum is going to have to help us out here. We're going to go attack all, um, and really hope for the best out of this lot. Now that it's serious, we need to get serious. Thankfully, most of us haven't taken much damage across the board here. We're going to go ahead and drop those in there real quick, and drop that thing right smack bang down there. As you do. The other two should be fine. Okay. Hong is actually able to get a, a few hits in here, which I'm happy about. Poor Oblum is kind of having to take care of just this group here by herself. Get you moving around, try and drag them into the others. Because with these staffs, we can hit multiple people at the same time, so... It does work out for us when we have a few targets to hit, but we are quite outnumbered here, so I'm really hoping that we're going to be able to hold on long enough to take this group down. Hong, Hong is in trouble, but seems to be doing okay damage with martial arts. Uh, yeah, but not great across the board. No, no dog meat's doing work. We are seeing them go down. Okay. We might have this fight, but we'll only have this fight if no one else interrupts. Oblum is holding her own as much as she can. We're going to put her on block just so she can have a little bit better of a chance. Park has taken care of the ones that he's been fighting. He's coming in to help now. Ruka holding her own, definitely. Dogmeat is just having such a good time, just eating as many of them as, uh, as she possibly can. And it looks like, for the most part, it's going to be one-on-one -on -one at this point now. We have won this fight, decidedly, which I'm definitely happy about. We have a lot of crawling bandits that we're going to have to take care of though. Sand, get in there. Oren, you're doing good work. Everyone's doing good work. I'm seeing a lot of damage, a lot of green across the board. We aren't going to get as much experience fighting them as we would fighting someone that's a lot stronger than us, but still this is experience for our group, for our troop, and it's going to it's going to be good for them. Oh wow, that was you see that? That's a that's an arm or a leg. Yep, that is an arm that has just gone flying off there, and I think it was sand that somehow knocked this one's arm off with a blunt instrument. That's how painful that would have been. That would have been incredibly painful. That happening with a blunt instrument, not would have... Yeah, nope. That's a whole heap of nope. Now, Hong, how how's your crossbowing been going? Good, I hope. Okay, we have won the fight. They are all down at this point. It is just us taking them out and we can see the dog meat dog meat is currently playing limbs what that means is running around with a limb in your mouth with you know great joy and satisfaction so dog meat's going to be running around doing that for a little while and hopefully we're going to be finishing off the rest of them and then healing um we didn't take too much limb damage there uh, apart from ruka ruka's poor leg has been absolutely destroyed hong has run way back i think hong is going for Maybe one of these 
dust bandits that's way off in the distance oh there's more dust bandits over there okay well that's great hong just just don't fight over there if you can everyone come together um we're seeing a lot of very very slow walking dog meat for some reason has gone so far away and has now engaged another bloody bone dog which is fantastic very happy about that let's get everyone together here and let's make sure that um healing is actually happening properly okay so you do have medic uh, why is that not happening currently? No, it is. Okay, good. So everyone is being healed up. Dog meat is bringing this one back. What a mess. What a mess indeed. Um, so... Okay, Park, you're still doing some work. Sand, you've stopped, which means that you... Nope, you still have an advanced first, first aid kit, so there's no reason that you can't be doing first aid right now. Looks like we're going to have to fight this thing. It is a adult bone dog. Its attack isn't uh, too severe, so we should be able to take care of this thing. We want to just essentially overwhelm it, so we're going to wait for that to come back. Ah, they're starting to get back up, these bastards. All right, here we go. Attack target. Uh, Hong, you can actually just try and shoot these ones down here if that's okay. Yeah, you see how, it, how fast its attacks are? I hope that wasn't uh, Hong accidentally shooting Ruka there. This thing should be down before long. They do have a fair bit of health, but um, we're doing some work against the head and the foreleg there. Dog meat very quickly took that one down. Again, is playing limbs, I think. Uh, dog meat's actually very, very damaged. Hong, you need to come back at this point. This is a very dangerous stretch of road. Uh, we are actually going to try and pull sand back to do some first aid. Because that's definitely needed. Hong. I need you to stop doing that, so we're going to go ahead and put you on passive, or actually we're going to put you on hold, just so you don't run away. We're going to get some healing done here, and let's see, do we have a leader amongst this group here? Because if we do, the leader is probably going to have the best kind of gear. Uh, looks like it's mostly Hungry Bandits, Hungry Bandit there. Yeah, I'm not seeing a leader yet, doesn't mean they're not here. And there is a chance for us to get some more meat from... The bone dogs that are here no okay so we're going to get them equipped with something though so let's go through we're going to steal those and take that it's probably worth us getting everyone equipped with something like that just so that they have a chance to attack one-handed generally for the most part they're going to go for the attack that works best at any you know one given time uh i don't i don't suppose any of the stuff is standard I think it's probably all shoddy, right? Yeah. I'm not surprised with that. Go ahead, place that down there, and get yourself a weapon. Okay, so we still have others healing across the board. Ruka, let's go get you equipped with a secondary weapon just in case your arms get damaged to the point where you can't actually attack. Um, we're going to have to do the same pretty much with everyone here, but I really want this healing to go off without a hitch so thanks for helping out there Ruka is getting some healing and Hong it seems has started engaging something or someone again someone very very far away that I don't think you can even properly see there Hong so I don't know what you're so stressed out about oh okay how about we go for this one here that sounds like a solid plan. Uh, so let's see. Park, we still need to get you equipped with something. So let's just have a look at the groups that are here. Get you wielding a secondary weapon of some kind. Orin, I think same story with you. Okay, so everyone should have some kind of secondary weapon at this stage. Yep, okay, fantastic. So we need to get our group. Um, make sure that we're all actually healed here. And it looks like we are. Um, Oblum is hungry is your hunger going up or down currently as you should be eating with the group i think it is on the rise but it's just very very slow let's go see it and see if we can quickly take this bandit out and um i do believe it will be safest for us to have a little bit of a rest but uh obviously watching out for groups and we have another group now of hungry bandits that are coming through so we're just going to try and go as slowly as we can we're stealthing currently but there's a good chance that they are going to see us as soon as they get around this rock 
I don't want to get into another fight right now. So if we can avoid them, we will. It looks like we've just managed that. Yeah. <laughs> so better that we did get out of there while we did. Here we go, folks. Away from that. And yes, if we are to do any kind of recovery, it's going to be better for us to do that with a squad that is fully ready and rearing to do that. So we are going to be doing, yet again, a bit of camping. So campfire isn't necessary, but we're going to go ahead and put down all of the camp beds. Or four camp beds? Because we had four of us before. Park, Sand, Ruka. Yep. Go for that. And Oren, we're going to get you placing those down, please. Um, right, you don't have access to your stuff, do you? And that's also why people aren't eating, because uh, we're not accessing our backpacks currently. So we'll go ahead and put them back on, and we'll be able to start having some munches, and having a bit of a recovery going on. There we go. Eat away. Dog meat should be having a bit of a bite to eat too. And so the people that are going to be recovering, uh, first and foremost, are going to be those that have injured legs, because we can still kind of recover on the go. But, um... Yeah, we don't want to push it too far. Even not getting downed in a fight, just taking damage does improve our toughness. So every fight we are getting that little bit better. Sand, let's get you recovering first of all. Dog meat definitely needs to recover. Oren, you're okay for the most part. Um, let's see. Oblum, we're going to get you recovering down there as well. So some of the others are going to be able to have a bit of a rest. Sand, before you do though, are you sure you can't do any repairs? Taruka? Doesn't look like you can. I mean, you've got the repair kit. I wonder if Ruka needs to actually be resting before you can do any kind of repairs. Let's just see. Yeah, it doesn't look like he can. So having a look at the, the, the leg here, we can see we have five points of wear damage. This detracts from your max health. Okay. Your movement speed will be negatively affected by it. Noted. Okay. Uh, well, it looks like Oren is another one that needs to have a little bit of a rest. So the others are just going to chill here. Wait for them to rest up a bit here. Dog meat would be good if you could have a rest. But uh, yeah, we're going to be resting the night away. As there is a fight quite close to us, I might try and see if we can scavenge after we are rested up and ready to go. And our others are nearly recovered. But back at home... Well, there is trouble. Trouble has arisen in the form of Hanbu and Spot getting attacked. So we're letting everything kind of load in here. Uh, they have been attacked by Hungry Bandits, it looks like, and it doesn't look like a massive amount of them. Um, Spot and Hanbu aren't bad fighters. Uh, really, and looking at these Hungry Bandits, they are terrible. So there is a chance that the two of them will actually be able to uh, win this fight. So I'm going to take Spot off block, I'm going to take Hanbu off block, and we're going to see how the two of them do. Um, they are, like I was saying, quite outnumbered. Um, but even a loss here will be a win for them in the long run. Um, yeah, Hanbu's actually taken way too much of a hit here. I'm actually surprised that... Um, it w has gone as bad as it has, considering he's actually a pretty decent fighter compared to them. Spot's much better, but um, it hasn't gone too well for Spot. We could get Ziff to come round to assist. It's going to take him a while to get there. Same thing with Hobbs, but Hobbs, Hobbs isn't, isn't exactly great. Once he gets outside, he's a little bit better of a fighter, but um, we'll get them there if we can. Um, it's going to be a little bit too little too late, I think. And yeah, unfortunately, just those attacks coming through pretty strong for the most part um, now they are having a look for food they're not finding much at all um, they're not going to find anything on them did they t did they just take their backpacks I think they did I think they took their backpacks um, oh no no Hanbu has a backpack okay so yeah they are injured uh, now we do have one on Hobbs I think they might have given up running on over here Ziff where are you at Oh no, you're over here, Ziff. And Hobbs is too. Okay, they are actually chasing them down. Um, but I think they're probably a little bit too far away. So Ziff, you can go back to doing what you were doing. Hobbs, we're going to get you over here to help our team out. Make sure that they actually have a proper chance at recovery. And this is going to give him a chance to get his well, medical skill up a little bit at the same time. So Hobbs, heal up spot heal up Hanbu and hopefully they're going to be able to get up before long no recovery coma and another recovery coma so I guess as if if we can get you back that would actually be helpful we're going to need you to pick up spot 
And Hobbs, we're going to have to get you to pick up Hanbu. No need to splint the injuries now. I don't actually even think you have a splint kit. And it looks like, um, yeah, you're on out of there. Now, I can have rescue as a team. So find and rescue put in bed. Uh, we're going to make that a priority up here. So let's see. Hobbs, are you going to do that? Find and put in bed. There we go. Okay, great. And we'll do the same thing here. Um, so we're going to go ahead, put rescue on. So Ziff should theoretically assist. Move order. Let's see. No. Okay, fine. Run over here to spot, please. Go ahead and pick up. Hobbs is currently getting food, but he's also taking Hanbu back. And um, hopefully, yeah, I'm going to put Hanbu back in bed. Lifting, snatch order. Yeah, going back to operate machinery. Oh, right, of course. Yeah, there we go. Just swap it around. That's a much better priority in my in my book. And Hanbu is going to be recovering up the top there. And Spot is going to be recovering too. We will need to just double check on them uh, once they are actually healed. Uh, Ziff, you should be able to go back and operate machinery. However, you do seem to be stuck on the stairs there, bud. And you're away. Yeah, because sometimes they will just stay in bed. So it's worth us uh, checking in on them. But our team here should be recovered enough to be able to continue our journey. Um, poor Ruka's leg isn't 100% though. Um, something that we're just going to have to be dealing with for a while, I think. We really need to get her a better leg, but um, right now the team don't know of anywhere better. So exploration is going to be a big part of our, of our future because we're going to need something like that. We know that uh, skeletons exist in this world, so there's got to be a chance to find something better somewhere. So we are pretty slow with Ruka as she is, so we're going to go ahead and ask very nicely, see if Ruka will allow us to pick her up, and we should be a lot faster at that pace. Everyone is still eating. Oblum and Hong are getting a little bit better in terms of uh, their recovery from their hunger. We're just going to head out into this deserty waste to see what else we can find out here we have the food to sustain us for now so that exploration side of things can continue it does look like there's going to be a little bit of a fight here potentially we might be able to outrun it and it looks like we can this is where good athletics comes into play most of the time you are going to be able to un outrun most of the animals and if you can outrun or at least even just outpace potential bandits that's a very very good thing in the long run this is a nice big open space this is the kind of place where i imagine you'd want to put down a base got lots of nodes around here i imagine it's semi-defendable um oh yeah see this is the thing that going into here i was just like hang on this is nice and circular it seems like the kind of place where oh yeah it's a bone dog base look at them all sleeping there so we really want to make sure that we give them a wide berth um not give them any trouble i really don't know what i'm gonna find out here apart from an escaped servant okay who just doesn't really want to talk to us at all that's that's fine that's fine didn't want to talk to you either. Uh, we could try and follow this path, assuming that it might lead somewhere. Let's do that for now and see what we can find. All right, things are loading up. Just slow things down a little bit here. Composite runners. That is a um, crossbow related research thing, majig. If anything, I think we're probably more likely to find um, runes up here. And if we do, we can still find some pretty interesting things. We might even find the science books that we need to be able to continue some of our research. Right now, nothing. I'm really trying to... Oh, hang on, here we go. Discovered holy mines. And we can see them just in the distance there. Uh, pretty much directly north of where we are currently. So that's the direction that we're going to want to go in. What I was going to say was I'm trying to watch for any kind of pixels moving uh, that would indicate animals running in our direction at high speed. But so far we've been pretty lucky. Yeah. So, holy minds. What is that going to be to us? Well, I think that's it directly ahead of us. 
we have a look on our crudely drawn map, we'll be able to figure out exactly if that's it. And uh, yes, it seems to be. So let's head in that direction, all the while trying to uh, be sure that we're not going to be seen by any patrols. Because we are a, a relatively large group. We could hear someone saying, stupid, fresh meat for the mines. I hope you're not talking about me. Let's actually start sneaking as we get a little bit closer. Um, and looking at how this pathway goes as well. Oh, they're actually attacking people in here. Oh yeah, they, they're totally attacked. Now we can, we're just on the edge of our range here. But yeah, we can see there are, there are a whole heap of slaves there. Um, there might not be as many um, slavers. Actually, Holy Nation people protecting them here. So let's go drop ourselves down into this little bit here. We're going to have everyone kind of holding. And this is where Sand is going to begin his run from. Thankfully, it is going towards night yet again. Everyone's pretty well healed up, so I'm not going to put down the beds. But Sand, we are going to get him to take off that gear of his. As you do. Uh, you can keep your pants on though, buddy. That's right. And Park, we're going to ask very nicely to swap boots with you, if that's okay. So Sand's going to swap those out. Park, you can have the big boots. There we go. Okay. So our stealth should be set, and it is. We're looking at 68 now, so we have actually leveled up our stealth. We're nearly close to the, uh, well, the kind of stealth number that just can't be beat. But here we go, we have sand running up and towards this place, and... Oh, I was going to get you dramatically running there, sand. <laughs> Let's dramatically run together. There we go. Up towards this place. Somewhere that we don't uh, fully understand just yet. But looking at it, they have a nice big gate, which we can pick, it would seem. Oh, and we have a slave that is currently playing dead that we might actually be able to try and save here. So that'll be the goal. Uh, what we don't want to have happen here is to be shot by a ballista of some kind. It doesn't look like they have any, although they do. I stand corrected. Uh, so we definitely want to avoid those. Um, and anyone else that could be causing us uh, potential pain and discomfort. So you can see we're in half light at the moment. That will change very, very soon, I think, as that sun just gets a little bit lower. Here we go. We're picking this ginormous big gate. And we're successful because we are quite a good lockpick. The gate's open. And I think that slave is going to want to try and run out of here. So let's see if we can very quickly go in here and unlock some shackles. Chill, 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 chill. All that guard's coming. Oh, really? You were the one that was trying to escape, and now you're saying, no, what are you doing? <laughs> it, we actually just completed uh, our research, which was um, imprisonment. Yeah, okay. All right, they're saying they're not going anywhere. Sure, sure. For now. And I would hope that the others are going to try and go to sleep. Um, there is only one slave up here right now, which is a little concerning. Makes me think that maybe there aren't actually that many here. They don't have any supplies here either. I'm tempted to open up this to see what we might find inside. It could just be empty. It is just empty. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll give them a second or two just to chill out. We have another slave up here as well. Um, who is, it's just a lower servant. They don't actually have a name. These are all just lower servants. Okay. Well, let's stick our head inside here. Hope that these people are sleeping. Okay. They're not. <laughs> They're not, but they, there are two others in here. Um, you're a slaver. You're a slaver. And you're awake, Holy Sentinel. Can you not be awake? That'd be super helpful. Let's just go stick our head around the corner here real quick. See what we got going on, Sand. Um, okay, we we have someone just standing guard in here as well. So let's uh, let's not go in there. Um, so what are we going to do with this one here? The second that we finish um, picking their locks, they are going to start screaming and trying to escape, and they're going to cause us a whole heap of trouble. 
Uh, so what we might try and do first is unlock the shackles before we try and unlock the cage. We'll see if that works. Okay. That one's actually asking us to unlock the, uh, unlock the cage, so we will probably try and do that. We'll try and see if we can unlock these shackles. Oh, come on! Damn it, this son of a bitch. Okay, we haven't been seen yet. <laughs> so we might, if we're, if we're quick, because the thing is like, this is bright right now, but it is actually complete darkness in here for them. So let's see if we can get away with this. It takes them a lot longer to put that on. Okay. Unlock the cage. <laughs> Sand is just working in the shadows here. Okay. Just, just stay hidden. Just stay hidden. Come on. Come on. Try and run. Okay. Now run. Run for your lives. I could try and uh, pick the ones on the top as well, but I think for now we can't be uh, greedy. Just run. Just run, buddy. Run, run, run. Okay, well, we got one out of here. Oh, and there's a bone dog trying to attack us? Really? How about that for luck? But if we just keep on going from here, there's a chance that we can just make it out. Yep, our other buddy has made it out of here. That's good. They're eating some ration packs. So we just need to go far enough that he can have his moment to decide whether or not he actually wants to stay with us. And oh, that does not look good. That looks like a whole heap of Holy Nation folks attacking a bone dog. Yeah, so, guys, stay safe, please. Yep. Our buddy's still following us. How far do we have to go there, bud? For you to truly be free. And with that group running over here as well, it makes me a, a bit more nervous um, about going back in. Because if they turn up halfway through, yeah, it's not good for us. Alright. How far are we going here, huh? Lower servant. How far do we have to go? I guess we could have run the other direction back towards our friends. Might have been the right call. I'm just trying to keep an eye on that patrol. Surely this is far enough. Fog Islands. And Park is under attack? Oh dear. Oh no. Who, who who has seen you, Park? Who or what has seen you? From what direction? It's just a bone dog? Okay, it's just a bone dog and it's not attacking us right now. Um, is anyone there not sneaking? Park, for some reason. Sneak, buddy. I think it was because he was semi-seen. Um, okay. Yeah, that that is probably not exactly where we want to be going fun times sand fun times oh here we go we've got far enough away what have you decided buddy no don't say that you're not all right you can join me but a name like lowest servant won't do I hope that we can rename you at some point. We're going to have to take you somewhere so that you aren't just called Lower Servant. But hey, we've got you for now, which is great. We'll see if we can get some more friends. The night is still young, but it is full of terrors. Um, oh, and someone is actually trying to pick their way out. That's good. So Lower Servant, let's go get you to just chill here for now. Um, I w I, if I could get you back towards the others, I would. And I think we, I think it's achievable. We're just going to have to be careful with how we do it. Sand, get you running back. Back towards this place. Oh, yeah. Okay, so they're patrolling that way. So we're, we're pretty safe for the most part. In you go, Sand. In you go. And we're going to get you doing a full speed run. Okay. We, we had one, I think, that must have been downed. Oh, that lower servant's going to take a while to get over there, aren't they? Well, I guess maybe for now, just chill there. Sand. Okay, bud. Okay. So, there's two on top. Is that... I thought I thought he was in a cage then for a second. He's not. He is not. Okay, stick your head inside. And... Okay. Wow. Okay. We've got a slaver right here. And we got this one trying to, trying to get out. Um, again, if we're quick, we might be able to get them out. Especially if we can, like, just pick them up. 
Let's go ahead and unlock the shackles. If we can. Oh, they're trying to unlock the shackles as well. Okay. We just helped them do it. Okay, the cage is open. We're going to go ahead and pick them up. We're stealthed still. We might actually be able to stealth out of here with them. Holy crap, Sand. You are a freaking ninja. In the complete darkness, he just manages to, to pull that off somehow. Park again has been seen. Oh, great. That's by an entire pack of bone dogs. That's not good. That's really bad for us. We're going to have to fight that. There's no real option there. And with the Holy Nation so close, that's really bad. Um, the, the only other option here is for us to try and run. And there is an option. We'll see if we can do it. If we can get fast enough away... Oh, and look at that Holy Nation over there as well. Not good. Not good in general. Yeah, we can outpace the... I think just. So let's start running back this way, up into these mountains. And Sand, we're going to get you doing the same. Uh, lower Servant, you can start doing that same thing. Running up and in that direction. Uh, Sand, we can probably get you out of um, hiding now. I'm just really worried about them getting too close to the, the Holy Nation there. Oh no, that's not good. That's just a hungry bandit troop. Okay. We are really between all of it right now. Lower servant, keep making your way around. Hopefully you're far enough back that you can do that. Not really. Okay, it's a little frightening. Damn, they still haven't given up yet. Oh, yes they are. They're starting to give up there. Okay, so team, go ahead, stick yourselves up there. Start stealthing. Sand is going to go and rejoin you. Lower Servant is also going to join. And then we're going to put this person down and see if they actually start following us to a degree. Oh, we've got even more Bone Dogs out here. There's just so many of them. This is the land of the Bone Dogs. Okay, we're going to stay zoomed out for now, just so that we can keep uh, some kind of perspective as to where all of them are. And even at night, they managed to roam straight into the area where, um, where poor Park was hiding. Okay. Alright, start sneaking the lower servant. And let's go to Sand here, who's still carrying this person. We'll put them down and see if they're going to join us. They're just going to keep on running. Okay, um... Patrolling, apparently. Alright. Well, you do that. I hope that you... Choose to join us? Hmm. They aren't showing up as uh, green on our map, so... They might just be running for it. And I don't blame them. I don't blame them one bit. Makes perfect sense that they want to get out of here. Uh, and maybe, maybe, maybe picking them up like that isn't the best call. Uh, I am enjoying seeing this massive fight going on between the Holy Nation and these Bone Dogs, though, because I think the Holy Nation troops are still going to get pretty, pretty decently whacked out of this. So we've come away with three people so far. Not too bad. Um, however, I think yeah, still okay though. Even for the lowest servant, still have you know kind of okay stats starting off. We are going to have to start making our way back home though. Making our way to the hub is going to be the first step, and it's going to be a decent run back, especially with, you know, the kind of trouble that we seem to keep getting ourselves into with bone dogs and other creatures of the like. We go ahead and slow ourselves down yet again. How quick are we going to be? I think the lowest servant is probably going to be the slowest out of us. With 15 athletics, that is slow, but it's not terrible. It's definitely something that we can work with. So looking at this, we don't want to get too close to stack, but really making it back towards the hub we're going to come close to it either way and we're coming close to bone dogs but in saying that we should be able to outrun them so this is going to be a good test to see if we can just start running past them and we'll see how it goes can you outpace them currently as you are yeah, that one is probably going to be able to get a strike, but I think we're still going to pull ahead. It's our lowest servant that is the slowest, but we're still doing enough to be able to outpace them. It's only just enough, but we're doing it. Look at us go. What a team. We came away with another. So that's three new people that we've been able to get on this journey. Our lowest servant, we're just going to call Low for now. Um... 
We might call her Lois afterwards. We'll see. We'll see what name she wants to take. But for now, our troop, they're continuing on into the desert. And hopefully, we're going to uh, make it back towards our home before long. And we've discovered a holy military base. Because, you know, that's just great. Being right between the two of them, I, that's perfectly fine. That's a perfectly good time. So this has also given us a chance to explore and check out some areas around here. Potential points for us to, you know, uh, find a home. Not here, though. Being so close to the Holy Nation will not work out too well for us. We've been very shek centric so far, so we are probably going to be putting our roots down somewhere within the Shek Kingdom. But... Um, I haven't settled on a place just yet. There is still so much of the map for us to explore. Um, and we'll probably be doing that with smaller teams, smaller groups. But for now, we travel along probably quite a dangerous area between those two Holy Nation bases. There's a good chance there are going to be patrols. And I can even see some out there now. So we're going to have to be very cautious going into the next. But guys and gals, that has been today's episode. I told you we could get more. More lives were saved, Oren. It would seem that I was right. You are right for now, short horns. But the Holy Nation still remains strong. We were not trying to kill them all. We must know when to fight, when to not. Park's right. We pick our battles. That's how we beat them. We're not ready. Not yet, but we saved three. We've given them a chance. And hell, there were others, others that kept running. They've chosen to make a life for themselves out there in the waste. Hong, Oberlum, and Lo, we have given them a shot with us. They've chosen to stay with us. It's got to count for something. I say it does. Easy for you to say. You don't have to run everywhere, do you? Do not seek fights where there are none. Or else I'll have to ask Park very nicely to put me down so that I can put you down. That's enough. Save that energy. There'll be more bandits along the way, no doubt. Keep your eyes open. The road's dangerous. And to wrap up today's episode, we have a fantastic piece of fan art from the Origami Unicorn submitted on the Discord. The piece is called The Wandering Fugitives and features both Sand and Park from the first episode as Park lifted Sand from, well, the sand and carried his ass out of there. I really, really enjoy the style of this piece, and we have another which is going to feature in the next episode. So if you have fan art of your own, as always, please feel free to submit that to the Discord, where it shall then be featured at the end of each of these episodes. Thank you all for joining me for another episode of Kenshi. If you don't know it already, you can pick up the very first piece of Rikon Roleplay's merchandise featuring Leonidas Aventus, the Dragonborn himself. There will be more items added to the store in the coming months, all available at rikonroleplays.com slash store. And finally, I'd like to extend a great big thank you to the patrons who continue to make this content possible. 